Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Well, you, uh, can't have enough storage, or so they say. Remember the first hard drive I ever owned had, uh, maximum capacity of 420 megabytes. Wow. 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 Uh, well, I wanted to tell you about something new and something free, at least if you have a Windows Live ID. The fine folks at live.com, and that's a, I guess, a series of internet services as offered by Microsoft. Although I'm still a little confused by the brand. I think the idea is that it's live, so it's living. Although some of their software is desktop-based and some of their software is web-based. And well, the software that uh, I'm going to point out to you now is not really software so much as it's a website uh, where you can store up to a gigabyte worth of files. Nice, huh? Uh, free. Doesn't cost you a thing. You can get a gigabyte in the cloud or in the sky, as Microsoft wants to call it. SkyDrive.Live.com. Yes, as Joe Feng 95 says, G Drive is probably the best for size, and he's likely referring to, if I'm not mistaken, uh, the uh, there's an app that will allow you to use your unused storage on Gmail as a network drive is mounted by your local machine. Now, SkyDrive doesn't work the same way, at least on the surface. I logged in, relatively simple, got it, didn't have to really install anything. When I went to browse for files in Internet Explorer, it said do you want to you know, do it on mass, you want to do this easier, install the ActiveX control. I click, I install the ActiveX control, and then can use the familiar Explorer dialog. But then I noticed that it was also compatible with Firefox. I'm like, well, that's kind of odd. So I went to Firefox, opened it up, and sure enough, I could browse for files there, but I wasn't necessarily prompted for a plug-in installation, at least that I could see you know, right there on the surface. So the, uh, the idea is <clears throat> to use this space uh, for you know permanent file storage uh, or temporary file storage if you don't have a home network uh, or you don't have a, a USB key with you and you need to transfer a file from one place to the other you could email it certainly or if you've got a large file that you want to uh, you know transfer from one machine to another uh, or you just want to have out there but not necessarily store on a local machine this would be a good place for it uh, sensitive data certainly I mean this is as secure as it possibly can be um, you know I, I'm sure they've got details on how uh, how deep their security levels go this is a beta of course I think at this point the entire world is in beta uh, there are nice little locks uh, on the front which I believe that uh, is labeled as personal and what that means is that you could end up using this one gigabyte drive to share files with friends not just with yourself again but you could give access specifically to uh, readers or editors and the readers are just able to read or you know get the files uh, and then editors could actually manipulate the files I mean hence that's why they uh, label those roles as such. So it's kind of cool. Um, does it track activity though? I haven't used it. I literally just signed up for it uh, a few minutes ago after I had read a couple of, uh, of, uh, of uh, Twitters about it and uh, I was like, wow, that's kind of neat. I don't know how much I'm going to use it, but certainly it would be easier to uh, use a network drive in, this, in the cloud to connect to someone on the other side of the world than to try to share something locally. And I don't want to install Pando. Uh, this would be far easier. Of course, I think the biggest hurdle is it, they're relying on the other user having a Windows Live ID account. And this is the problem I, I mean, getting to identity, you know, in, until there is a unified identity on all operating systems and platforms, uh, I, it's just it's difficult to work with these kinds of services. Um, you know, unless all your friends use Microsoft, then you're just kind of like, eh, I just feel weird. That's why I use Miranda IM for my instant messenger because I want to IM with a friend. I don't want to IM with an IM client or with uh, a brand. Uh, I want to talk to a friend, and it doesn't matter what platform they're on. I mean, why should I discriminate discriminate friends based on the programs that they have installed? That's just it's stupid. Um, and I feel that way with any closed ID system. Uh, .Mac, 
um, you know, uh, it, it, Google, they're all closed systems. Uh, identity needs to be opened up. Uh, I, I've begun to, to look deeper into supporting uh, open ID. And, and certainly that's just one uh, one opportunity out there for us to you know look beyond using one service over another specifically if we want to grant access to anybody not just anybody who's on that network as authenticated an open authentication I think is a makes for a better society but regardless that's a completely different video completely different scenario uh, if you have MSN friends and you want to share files you can now use the live sky drive beta that's at sky drive dot live dot com and as opposed to live dot perillo dot com which of course is where we're streaming right now live on the internet not exactly sending gigabytes of data immediately over the course of a day oh let me tell you uh, I send a lot of traffic a lot of audio and a lot of video goes into live video production but of course we record these videos and upload them to YouTube uh, leave a comment uh, you know leave an email if you know of any other internet drives uh, you know the the Google uh, version was just mentioned Microsoft obviously has one uh, this is kind of a, a commodity these days a storage space in the cloud uh, you know what services do you use and recommend uh, for other people to share files online or to store files online for cheap or free as is this case I mean it's a gigabyte free you don't have to pay a thing eh, that sounds good to me uh, so uh, you know send me an email Chris at Perillo.com with any of your suggestions or of course you're also welcome to swing by our website that uh, you know happens to be live although not live.com uh, happens to be uh, where we chat day and night live 24 hours a day seven days a week at live.perillo.com we'll see you later